Let me ask you a little bit about Westlife, Nikki, because when you were in Westlife, uh, there was a lot of focus on singing-wise, I suppose, Mark and Kean in some regards. Did you feel, I think with the passage of time now... Mark and Shane, I think. Mark, sorry, excuse me, Mark <laughs> and Shane, excuse me. Uh, but um, thanks for correcting me, that's by the way. That's all right, that's all right. <laughs> but let me ask you about um, the frustration of that for you. Did, you. did you find that sometimes it was a little bit... Uh, did you feel a bit put out? Yep, absolutely, of course you do. You're in, a, you're in a band that's, you know, taking over the world, so there's a part of you that you go, like, um, you know, you should up and put up, I suppose, and it was always best foot forward, and, you know, Mark and Shane are, you know, by far yeah, the best singers. We're the best singers in that band, there's no yeah. doubt about it. I'm forced to say that I'm an honest guy. Um, but there are times when you, you, you kind of, you know, I knew I was, you know, I, was a, I was a decent singer going into the band. Mm -hmm. um, but that, I suppose, that confidence is knocked out of you um, because you're not being used on lead vocals. So that does happen. But, you know, you're not going to complain. I'm a very positive kind of I appreciate that. Well, why weren't you used on lead vocals? Well, I think when, when you're in a band like West, like, what happens is you, you're not writing the songs. So you've got people like Steve Mack would have written, the song, written songs along Wayne Hector. They all want to use... Um, uh, the best foot forward. They want their singles, our songs to be singles. Okay. That's where the money is. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that's what happens is we have this song, goes to Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell says, I want Westlife to record it, get the boys over. You know, we're not going to waste, you know, any time here. We haven't got time to waste. Yeah. So we get the, you know, the, the best singers in to do it. As far as and you go in and you do your BVs and that makes you feel, obviously, you're part of it. And you do, you spend time yeah. and you got to do that and do your back and vocals, do harmonies and get all that done. And then on tour, you kind of show a, a bigger side because on tour you're in charge of that. So yeah. we would have done a lot of medleys and Westlife fans would know and have heard me, you know, a lot over the years. But, you know, you know people who don't or didn't hear, care about Westlife would have never heard me sing because it would have only been lead singing, would have only been on, a, on big Westlife tours. So know? how many years since the band finished now? Are we looking <laughs> at it roughly? Uh, uh, what was it, 20... Was it 2012? Oh, what are we now? You were in the band. I know, I can't remember. Uh, 20, 2012, summer so 2012. Three, was, coming yeah. up to three years there, yeah. about. So are, are you in regular contact with the lads, or is that... No, you're not. No. No. no but none of us are, I don't think. No. But, that, that would strike some people as peculiar, that you would... <laughs> or did you just get sick of each other? And I don't mean that in a mean way. I'm yeah. not trying to stir it up, to be honest with you. But, you know, that close quarters to, to, to pals, or so sometimes it can be someone you just need to stop. Right? Yeah, we, I mean... How do you explain the no, the no contact? <laughs> we don't... We don't talk unless we have to talk, you know, and there's nothing to talk about, you know, we, we're, we, st we never fell out, and that's, that's as true as I'm sitting here. Of course we fell out, don't get me wrong, I mean, we, we killed each other, but I mean, we didn't, we never fell out and that's why we ended, you know, it wasn't a big fight, a big scrap, and yeah. we went, right, we're all out of here, lads. But you think, Nicky, 14 years together, mm. that you would have plenty to oh, we did. talk about, no, even yeah. after the event, the shared memories oh, and right. friendships and so on, yeah. but no. No, there's, there's, there's I mean, it's not, it's not purposely done, it's like, we talk when, when we need to. I think it's, you know, everybody's doing their own thing. And I think with social media nowadays, with Twitter especially, yeah. even if you didn't want to know what people were doing, you, it's impossible, if you're on Twitter, not to find out what people are doing, you know? So we all wish each other the best luck. I bumped in the Keen once since 2012, since the final reunion, or farewell, yeah. uh, reunion. That's why I'm reading papers. Yeah. Um, Is that happening? No. Uh, no, no, there's, there's no, no, no reunion. That's fine, but you no. bump into each other. Uh, Cecilia Ahern is your, obviously your wife's sister, your sister-in-law. Yeah. And I understand that she has been instrumental in your potential resurgence as a solo artist. Yeah, I suppose you could say that, yeah. yeah, yeah but, tell well, me about that. Well, Cecilia's uh, was, had a movie out recently called Love, Rosie. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we both know Ronan Hardyman, the producer, particularly well. And uh, Cecilia wanted a song written for the movie, so she said to me, I'd love you to do it. So we went in, and I always knew I would visit and revisit music when the time was right. Yeah. I wasn't going to be the first person to come out and go, right, I'm doing a solo album. Um, you know, here it is. Um, I had other things I wanted to do, presenting, you know, mainly. Mm -hmm. But anyway, with the music, it was like, well, when, when the right opportunity arises, I'll do it. So I went to Ronan. We contacted Wayne Hector, who's a friend of ours, who wrote Fly Me That Wings, World of Rome, What Makes Him Out, all those big records for Westlife. We flew to London, we wrote a cracking tune for the movie. And, uh, and from then on, I think getting in with Ronan on your own, writing songs, it was a whole new thing for me. Yeah. It was like... I'm not part of a band anymore where, you know, I actually have the time, I have the, you know, the, the interest. Songs were now being written by me with Ron and with Wayne, uh, uh, you know, cheeky things about me that I'm writing about myself, okay. funny things. And, You're and your own man, had, we, essentially. Exactly, yeah. and we've, we've, we've 11 tracks written now, I've nine of them recorded. And, you know, the album is nearly ready to go. We'll, I will do it eventually when, when I'm, I'm when looking I'm forward ready. to seeing you back here as a solo artist. That'll be a lot of fun. I think you are happier with what you just did there than all the number ones in Westlife <laughs> no, put together. 100%. <laughs> there was a great deal of excitement. Uh, Rocco J are in good shape. They're seven now, right, the boys? Yeah. Gia is she how is old? Fantastic. She is 
coming on 15 months. Okay, now. so boys, crazies, girls. Boys, ah. mega crazy. Go on. Uh, I'm like a referee every morning, every evening, as is Georgina. Um, and G is just, you know, it's, she's just an absolute dote, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, just before I was going out tonight, uh, Georgina was putting her to sleep, and I went to her and I gave her a kiss, and she just straight away, as soon as she kisses, she waves goodbye. She does it to me she's every morning, so... No, no, it's, she's gorgeous. I get the really. impression you might like that child. Um, yes. But I, <laughs> that's an understatement. OK, so Nicky, by the way, you know Nicky used to be a professional soccer player. I mean, he's, he's really been pretty good. A handy goalkeeper, I understand. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, yeah. that's probably fair to say. So how would you feel about maybe getting back into goals in order to help our studio audience to win another prize this evening? Yeah. <laughs> This could go pear-shaped now, don't get too excited. You see, I know Nicky a little bit from 2FM, and the one thing we know about him where we work is that he's very competitive, in a nice way, he's very friendly <laughs> comp comp competition, and uh, he doesn't like to lose. So, he may be a married man, but tonight with our studio audience, we're going to play a game called Who Wants to Score with Nicky? <laughs> right? So, uh, if Nicky can save three or more goals from a member of our studio audience, uh, then there'll be no prizes. But if our audience members can score three or more goals, then they're going to win the prize. See, so, so I'm going to let, let you, them in. No, don't let anything in. Save them. <laughs> save them. You've got to save. Then, then they don't win anything. Yeah. No more Mr. Nice Guy. OK, OK, right, head okay. over there. Let Nikki, Nikki Byrne over to the net. Yeah, there's some gloves for you. <laughs> now, before we do that, let's say your name is... Uh, John. John what? John Wilcher. Where are you from, John? I'm from uh, Alan Wood in Kildare. This is Nikki Byrne from nice Dublin. Nikki, how's it? John. John, John excuse me. So, nice Nikki, you, back into your old uh, <laughs> stomping ground there. John, if you wouldn't mind... Sticking uh, the uh, ball on the spot. And I tell people at home what, they're, what you're playing for. Flynn Hotels have just launched their amazing five-day room sale from midnight to night. They've uh, great affordable prices on breaks away from now until the end of May with a starting price from €69 Euro at the four-star Imperial Hotel in Cork. The four-star Old Ground Hotel in Ennis. The four-star New trouble. Park Hotel in Kilkenny. And the Park Hotel in Dungarvan. You can check out flynnhotels.com. To mark all of that, they've given us a one-night stay for two with breakfast in one of their four hotels for everyone in the audience. If... They can score with Nikki. So, Nikki, sorry, you've got to save this for your dignity. You've got to get it in for <laughs> no a prize. Pressure. John, can you handle this task? I oh, no problem. Yep. Better, better singer, better looking. Anna McIlhenny, man. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on. <laughs> okay, I don't time. Mind. What is there a whistle? Uh, no, just, just, just to be on your guard. And okay. go. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so you're not going anywhere, folks. <laughs> And go. Oh, oh no. Not the face. <laughs> not the face. Not the face. <laughs> You're doing great, Nikki. <laughs> Sorry about this, folks. Don't pack that toothbrush just yet. <laughs> did that even go in? John. I think it did. That's no, it wrong. didn't go in. Go, go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm taking no Is chances. <laughs> You're in trouble. <laughs> John, you're very enthusiastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. He wants that holiday. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's in the audience. John, uh, <laughs> I get the impression maybe you didn't like Westlife as a child. Or <laughs> <laughs> okay, you get this in, it's prizes for everyone. You save this, your dignity's I'm intact. Running. <laughs> Okay, John. Do no it. pressure. <laughs> <laughs> good man, good man. Well done, Nicky. Thank you very much. John and Nicky Byrne, ladies and gentlemen. Prizes for everyone in the audience. Okay. Very good. The Million Euro Challenge starts tomorrow night on RT1 Television at 10 past.